right, bye. Hi, everybody. It's Dan Handel. He's saying hello. We are here. He's listening at. at he will handle it. He is a newlywed. Uh, after 30 years. <laughs> he said yes. It only took him a little bit of time. Dan, tell us about the house. It's so beautiful. We have a beautiful home, Prime Noe Valley. We've got uh, four bedrooms, three full and one half bath. Ooh. Victorian completely remodeled. The bathrooms feature radiant heated floors. Ooh. We have three fireplaces. A decorative one here in the living room with these custom built-ins. I love these built-ins. Look at Double that. Double pane windows throughout the house. Wow. Formal dining room features a gas fireplace and a beautiful hearth. Right. Hardwood floors throughout. Ooh. I like the color too. Wow. They really took a lot of attention to detail. I love the ceilings. Beautiful I think period detail, cove ceilings. Yeah. And the view. Oh. I almost ran into a table. I did <laughs> run into a table, everybody. So I love the Great wallpaper. South facing views. You've got that fireplace peekaboo here. view of the bay. Ooh. Looking up at Twin Peaks. Wow. And there's Bernal. And oh my gosh, I didn't even see the yard. Oh, there's a, a really fountain. Gorgeous south facing backyard, south facing deck. Wow. And of course, this Tuscan fountain. Ooh. And these guys are going to be trading their child for the house. <laughs> Because it's that kind of market again. Oh, wow. Look at that house. It looks modern, uh, old on the outside, but all modern back here. And then yep. neighbors. Oh, the Eastwood people are doing that. So that's nice. And then look at That'll that. That'll be owner occupied. Oh, great, great. That won't be sold. And then there's Francis. Hi, Francis. Hi. And then there's Hello. two more rooms and a bath downstairs oh, and yeah. tons of additional storage down below. Where's Perfect Rob? for a home so, office. Wow. Well, I'm going to look at the rest, Dan. Thank you so much. Not You're... at all. Thanks for stopping by. And it's been pretty popular, right? So I don't We've think you'll be... We've had a ton of brokers through today. Oh and we will be open Saturday and Sunday, 1 to 5. But you might be sold. You never know. You, you never, never know. know. So act now. But thank you, Dan. I'm going to continue walking through the house. So, Dan, we love Dan. He's actually our neighbor by a couple blocks. And he lives near here, too. And he loves the neighborhood and Dan's a character we've seen a long time. Love this stained glass here. Let's go upstairs. You've got the pressed wallpaper detailing. You've got the cornice moldings up there and then you've got the bedrooms here. So go to the Queen Anne style a bit where you've got the pitched roof above. This is your front bedroom. Again the views towards 22nd. A non-power line street. Oh, look at the chandelier in the closet. Nice closet here. And then, actually, oh, oh, I like the measuring thing in the car. Sorry, folks. And then here is middle bedroom. Now, a lot of times people say, hey, they don't want this as a bedroom. They make it, might make it ensuite here or ensuite there or have this open as a little staging area up here, up to you. And over here, ooh, wow. That is a bathroom. Wow, so it's very classic. Love the porcelain. Uh, basin here and vanity. You've got the two sinks, big mirror. I love the pitched roof up there. And then here, jacuzzi with lots of jets. Love the hardware. Love this niche detail. Look at the tile. It's got the cracked glass detailing. It's really pretty. Toilet storage as well. And let's go over here to the back room. Oh, I like that picture. So, whoa, you have another bathroom. Oh, Japanese style toilet. We love, oh, wow. Okay, so they love this one. Let me turn on the light. Ah, curbless shower, which we love. I love this tile here. And then the total toilet says, hello, life changing. The remote control over here. Linear drain here. I like this, oh, I like these little niches here. Nice vanity here. And then you've got the radiant floor heating here, like Dan said. Custom mirror that fits right in there. And a nice hardware here too. Wow. So you kind of got the style, the modern bathroom style here, and then the more traditional one out front. So actually you do have three bedrooms with one, two baths up here, that's great. And then here, they are going to finish up the decking here, hand railing. You can see that'll be lovely. I think they're doing the same next door. And you've got, Big views, look at that. So, closet one, closet two, nice light. You've got some recess lights above and you could easily do something like a skylight above, you have an attic, you can make it vaulted. There's so many cool things you can do. 
Same thing here. So let's go downstairs and we'll see the lower area. Here's the lower part here. Aha! Uh -huh. So we are in the lower level now. Ooh, I like this. Ooh, that's really nice. The marble tile here. It has Chevron and Herringbone. Great orange room. Oh, look at this! That's pretty clever. The uh, drop ceiling here of the tiles. Step up here. It goes to the back. Oh, another bathroom. Ooh, I do like that tile. Another Japanese style toilet. Nice stitches and good detailing here. I like that. I would love the, the lighting here. Oh, the Calista. Yeah, really nice. This is a, another brand that is really nice. Kind of on King with Roll and with others. Oh, look at this. Again, another curved shower. Great marble tile. Linear drain here. You've got the little bench, hand shower, peekaboo views out there and here. Oh, look at that. Actually, I quite like these light fixtures. I think they might be from Hudson Valley or Visual Comfort. Really nice and solid. And before we go downstairs, this is the back room down here. Wow. Batten board detailing. Ooh, big fireplace here. And then those are the stairs. And I think this, the internal access to the garage. There we go. And, uh, yeah, I love the epoxy down here. And you've got the driveway and whatnot too. So yeah. All right, let's keep going outside. This opens up to the yard or the deck. The spiral stairs we were at top before comes down to here. Actually, let's take a look. I think this is the second fountain we've seen in so many days. And it's early spring. Oh, I love that tree. I love the bark. You've got ooh, nice landscaping here. <laughs> the fountain. And then down here. No, what? You've got a little area back here. Uh, oh, wow. I think I see those shingles on the back of the house, too. So, is there a room back behind there? Oh, all right. I got to go see it. Artificial turf. Thanks. So, we'll cut through back here. I'm really surprised. All right, let's see. Oh, uh-huh. So, oh, wow, this is pretty tall. So you've got your irrigation there. Oh, some other systems, like power system there, I think. And then supports for over here, concrete, ah, the foundation. Oh, look at that. Bulky concrete foundation. You can see some seismic upgrading with all the plywood. Render. Remember when they nail and screw closely, and then you've got your wine here, wine storage here, two water heaters, and then back here, stair step to the foundation. Now it has been raining a lot, so you get some moisture, you're on a hill, so a little bit of moisture there, but that's nothing unusual. And really just bulky foundation here, they redid it, and you've got the concrete here. So storage galore here, workshop, uh, a yoga studio, who knows, that comes out to this area here. Look at that. So, yeah, Dan, a great house with Dan Hendel over here at 22nd Street, 3733. This is, of course, Kevin Ho walking you through. That one's going to be really beautiful, too. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and thank you to Dan for letting us come through. We will see you at the next one. Until then, take it easy.